Oh my gosh, I got a rental for my house and I am ecstatic, but now what do I do? Hi, I'm Kimberly Lahodney with the GCH Luxury Group, powered by Real Broker here in Augusta, Georgia. And today we're talking about how I have finally gotten my first rental as a master's sleeper house, and I'm so excited. I did this so that I could tell this story firsthand. Now this is my first year renting and I had to take certain steps that were brand new to me so that I could share them with you. Now in Augusta, there are blog sites that will tell you how to do this, but I just wanna tell you firsthand and give you a little, a little sneak peek into what happened the week that all the things came. So you'll see that in a minute, but I am so excited we did go through a hospitality group. We did get a call that said, hey, Kimberly, we have a renter for you and an offer. They gave us the price and it was a little bit less than we wanted, but it was for less time. So actually overall, we got more than we wanted and we get to stay in our house a little bit longer. This is how it's gonna go. So once you have a renter, you are in hotel mode and it is crazy. So. Once you get the contract and you've agreed on a price, you sign it, they sign it, and within about a week, you get your first deposit. Hold on one second, because it's very exciting to get your deposit, but I would warn you not to spend everything up front. The first year, you will have a deficit because you're going to prep this house and you're going to get some items that we're going to talk about in a minute and it will set you back from that initial wonderful tax-free fee that you're getting for renting your house out. But once it's there, every year after that, you are netting the full price. So what does it look like when you get the deposit? Typically, people use it to do some maintenance in their house and exterior. They ask you to power wash your house. If it needs some paint, they tell you to paint it. They ask you to do some maintenance around the house. They make sure that your landscaping is totally up to par. And again, this is a rental that is in a prime neighborhood. The expectation is extremely high. If you decide to list with Airbnb or VRBO, you have a similar quality that you want to get to, but I don't know if you have to go to this extent. I mean, when you work with the hospitality company, they send you this contract and they tell you exactly what you need to do, what you need to provide in the house, and how many things you need to provide. So here we go. Once you get a renter, you're gonna look up on the internet or connect with me on the items you need to set up your house as Airbnb, that's a good search. And it will actually tell you the sheets that are highly recommended, the bedding and the comforters, towels that they recommend, the, the face towels for makeup, and you do need to provide toiletries, typically just a shampoo and conditioner and a body wash. And then you have to do the mega work of cleaning out your house. So this is really fun. These are the projects that have always been on the honeydew that you just don't ever get done. But I will tell you, having just finished the majority of it, I am so excited that I took care of things that I've been meaning to take care of forever. So some of those things would be go into all your closets and clean it out like it actually looks like a closet and not full of boxes that you haven't opened or things that you don't know. Go into your pantry and organize it. I'm gonna show you a little clip of what my pantry looks like. Oh, oh my gosh, my, my, my pantry finally looks beautiful. And maybe it's not super high end. I know people get really into pantry organization, but for me, this, this is awesome. And then for some people, they get extra furniture. They set up rooms that typically have a twin bed in it and they put a full bed in. Lucky for us, we came with an extra full bed. And if you know me or if you reach out to the channel, you know I have a one-year-old, at least right now it's 2022, and he has a nursery. So we're taking down all the nursery stuff and putting in a full bed. It's gonna be a full guest bedroom for a visiting adult. So this is another element that I think takes people by surprise, and I don't know if it's just unique to Augusta and the Masters, or if it's true when there are ongoing events in other towns kind of like this, but we are required to have a TV in every bedroom. And that's kind of strange, right? You don't wanna have this 
in your house on a regular basis. I think for most of us, we don't want our kids to have TVs in their rooms and we don't really want a TV in every single room of the house. But these are people that are coming in and if they're a corporation and they're working with the masters or they're golf enthusiasts, if they're home at your house during the tournament, they want to have it on. So, and they may want to have it on in their own room. And you have to think about when you go to a hotel, every single room has a TV and, you know, if somebody wants to relax and just watch something, you have to provide that. That includes cable. So the month before you call up your cable provider or your satellite provider and you say, hey, I need some extra boxes just for this month and you rent them, you take that added cost onto yourself. And then when it's done, you return them. I know it's, it's really kind of weird, but this is what we do. So these are some of the costs and you see they're adding up a little bit. If you have a pool, if you have anything that requires beach towels, they ask you to have two towels per person. That's the same with a towel set. Two towels, full set of towels for each person that is in your house. And you can see how this adds up. I have done a budget for myself and I can tell you privately when you reach out to me exactly how much we spent to get our house ready. Everybody's going to be different and where your house is when you decide to take this on will really account for how much you spend right before the masters. So that's a little bit about the crazy that goes on with this. I'm going to show you this cute little video about when all the boxes came from Amazon and I ordered the majority from Amazon, what that looked like for that weekend as things came in over and over again. Okay, we got beach towels, two beach towels in each set. So we're ready. Look at the crazy that happened. Look at all the stuff that was delivered. This happens when you get your deposit the first time and you order everything that you need for your guests. So we're getting fully organized. This only happens your first year. I promise you never have to do this again. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, not only do you need sheets and towels and actually mattress covers, but you need pillows for every guest. They do not want to use your pillows. So that's another added cost that people don't even think about, but you would do pillows and pillow covers. But I will tell you, I have had a bit of a lesson for myself. Looking at how I'm taking care of these renters really made me evaluate whether I had been taking care of my own family properly. I mean, certainly we had mattress covers and, and things, but there were some things that we, we needed to do for ourselves. We needed all new pillows. And we may take that on a little later, but I will tell you that this feels like a lot of work. The first year is always a lot of work, but if you're up for it, it's really satisfying. And also at the end of the day, when your house is totally immaculate and you see it as it's supposed to be, it is just so beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed that. I, if you have any questions, reach out to us. I have all kinds of information for you. Enjoy this fun little segment when all the boxes came. And I look forward to seeing you soon. If you need more information, click on this link to get a download of what I do to prep for masters.